Example five, use a suitable linear approximation to estimate a natural log of 1.1. Is your estimate greater than, less than, or equal to the actual value? Okay, natural log of 1.1. In grade school, what, what would, uh, first of all, what is the function that I'm using? Here it seems like y equal to natural log of x is the function. Now, if I was in grade school, how would I, what number would I use to approximate natural log of 1.1? I would do natural log of 1 because I know what natural log of 1 is. Natural log of 1 is 0. And um, so using all of that, how do I approximate? Um, and the first thing first, I want to take the derivative, 1 over x. So this is a, this is the function, that's the derivative, 1, 2, 3, plug in the a into the derivative and find dA, 4, um, so the change dA, is d, I'm sorry, dy is equal to 1 over 1 times delta x. What is delta x? Delta x is 0.1. So let's go to 0.1. And then 5, the value is going to be natural log of 1 plus 0.1. That's one method. Uh, that this is actually um, this is approximated. Sorry, the value approximated by point uh, natural log of one plus point one, which is point one. This is one way of doing dealing with this. The other way is just writing the linearization down. So let's write the linearization down also. So the second method of doing this is. Um, write it down as linearization. Again, the information that you got in here and, uh, is going to be what is, uh, uh, gives me natural uh, linear linearization at 1 because A is 1 of 1.1. That's what we want to find. And so linearization at 1 of x is equal to f at 1, which is a, plus f prime at a times x minus a. a is 1. f of 1 is 0. f prime of 1 is 1 x minus 1, x is 1.1, hold on, this one was this, so L1 of 1.1 is going to be 0.1, and um, that's the approximation, and these two values match. Now, now that we found an approximation, let's figure out whether or not this approximation is overestimate or an underestimate. To find that, you have to use your uh, second derivative, and second derivative is going to be x to power neg negative x to power negative 2. See, the first derivative is this. Take another derivative of it, you get that. And then as um, x... Um, it approaches, um, it's basically as h approaches uh, 1, and in that for any x, this is basically negative 1 over x squared, and it's always negative value. That means that we always have concave down. Concave down means that uh, the tangent line, the values on the tangent line is overestimate for the value that we have. 
and so that tells me about the overestimation and so then in fact the value of the natural log of 1.1 is uh, is given here and it's slightly less than uh, what we found